So where do I begin? Um, man, Lil Wayne just dropped his album, The Carter Five. Uh, it's an album, probably one of the most anticipated hip hop albums of all time because it was delayed by the whole, I guess, Birdman drama beef or whatever. But anyway, this particular album, I mean, what can I say? I've been doing the truth behind hip hop for all these years. Uh, I originally told you that these guys were devil worshipers, showed you what Jay-Z's name meant, show you who he was talking to way back in the Black Album. Back before anybody was doing this, I was telling you this stuff, uh, but it wasn't just to shock you so that you can see who's the latest Illuminati puppet, but it was to bring you closer to Christ because without Christ, none of this makes any sense anyway. Uh, it's not even worth doing. So. I'm exposing what I'm exposing to lead you to Christ, bring you closer to Christ, and to get these demons out your life. You have demons in your life uh, most of the time when you listen to this music and you don't even know it. Well, uh, Lil Wayne is telling you exactly what's going on when you are, are a fan of his and a follower of his. If you're following Lil Wayne in any kind of way on the internet, through his music, whatever, you're following demons. Uh, he has a song on this particular album called Demon. And uh, the words of this particular song, I mean, come on. He says in the song, you done pull the demon out the man, pull the demon out the pants, pull the, put the demon in your mouth, then pulled it clean up out your A. Took her demon by the hand, asked the demon, can we dance? Found a halo in her trash, but she don't talk about her past. Now, in the Truth Behind Hip Hop Part 12, Outer Darkness, I showed you how women that are sleeping with multiple men, promiscuous women, women that don't, you know, baby daddy drama women, women that just sleep around, try to, you know, do it for fun or whatever, are sleeping with demons most of the time. Demons are getting involved into these intercourse uh, relationships that they are having or sexual explicit relationships and different things so that they can give birth to children with no other purpose other than to be houses for demons. And most of these kids that walk around houses for demons end up famous because the demons want the praise that they got back in the days of Noah. So we're talking about a guy here, Little Wayne, look at his face. He has decorated himself to be as close to the face of a demon as he could get without you saying anything. I mean, we can go all the way back to Michael Jackson turning himself into pretty much a woman and nobody said anything. Why? Because he made music. Look at the artists now. Look at their faces. Look in their eyes. Look at what they're projecting. They are showing you what's inside of them and they're showing you what's coming for you when you listen to them. I'm telling y'all, hell is real and folks are going. This is some 20 something years later since I've been doing the, uh, since I did the first Truth Behind Hip Hop. And now we're seeing the manifestation of everything I warned you about way back in the 90s. Everything I warned you about, it's here now. This is where sleep paralysis is coming from. This is where nightmares and insomnia, this is where anxiety and depression, all of these things that you're going through, all these things can be linked to what you're listening to, what you're ingesting, what you're putting in yourself. And most of the time, it has a whole lot to do with the demons that are in these artists. Y'all, get saved before it's too late.